I'm told that we are actually getting a call here. I, I'm getting a call during my show. Is this how it works? From 423 Get Fame. I mean, is that is, is that even possible that I'm getting a call from 423 Get Fame? Is, is this who I think it is? That's right. This is Famous B, Mr. 423 Get Fame. What's going on, Jay? Man, happy 600, man. Excited to talk to you again. Holy shit. We got Famous B here, and my night is made here on Sound Up 600. <laughs> That's right, man. Hey, I wouldn't have I, I wouldn't have missed this moment for the world, man, to call in and wish you a happy 600. You know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling famous. I'm feeling fabulous as usual. You know, shout out to all the uh, listeners and viewers that you have out there who has, um, you know, been lining up to support you. I've been uh, peeking my head in the chat and just seeing how excited everybody is, man. So it's um, a very special night for you. And, um, yeah, I'm excited for you, man. It is. And you know what? I got to say, you know, I know you've been you've been a fan of the show for a while now, and some people may not know that. Right. I, and you and I, I did an interview with you not too long ago. So I've had you on the podcast before. So this should not be, right. you know, a, a big surprise to people. But uh, I want to talk to you here for, for a couple of minutes here before I move on to everything else, because your name right. was in the news, not, uh, you know, relatively recently. There's been a lot of talk about Lucha Underground and whether or not there's right. going to be another season. And I suspect the answer to that question is no. And there have been a lot of right. people who have been, you know, trying to get out of their contract and trying to move on and go sign, you know, just have the freedom to just move on with their careers because things are in limbo right now. And your name came up, and I know there's been talk of lawsuits and stuff, and so I wanted to get you on the show and give you a live mm -hmm. forum just for you to kind of explain to people from, from the horse's mouth, from, from the source, what's been going on, what your status is, and, you know, kind of set the story straight. So tell us what's been going on with you and, and Lucha Underground. Right, absolutely. Well, point blank, um, I asked for my release from the company because um, there is no optimism for um, there being a season five. I mean, we had the uh, head writer come out, as you guys probably all know, and say, well, I feel like the company is dead. And, you know, uh, you know, and, and I'm sitting at home and I'm looking at this and I'm like, wow, well, I mean, if there is no optimism for the head writer, then, I mean, there's really no future in, in, in the company. And then not only that, you – you know, not only that, there has been no communication from uh, management to talent in terms of just like when, you know, anything's going down, you know, like there, there's there been no communication as far as like what the future holds or what they plan on doing or, or you know, just any plans that they have. And like, I've heard nothing. So, like I said, I've asked for my release recently. And the last I've heard that it has been approved. That's the last that I've heard. I haven't gotten anything officially in writing yet, but I've been told that it has been approved. So now I'm just pretty much looking forward to my next chapter in, uh, in my career. And, you know, like I, I'm a man. Obviously, I'm a professional wrestler, but I'm also also a manager. I can I can commentate. I can uh, announce. I can pretty much do anything. You know what I mean? I'm not a one dimensional asset to the professional wrestling business. And right now, when there is a um, a surge in wrestling with AEW, you know, going to TNT and, and obviously and, 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 you know, everyone's making a move. Everyone's pretty much making a power play. I feel like right now couldn't be a better time for me to be um, a free agent. And I feel like I'll be one of the hottest free agents out on the market when, when that's going to come into fruition, which you guys are going to see sometime soon within the next couple of weeks, maybe or even the next couple of days, who knows at this point, but it will happen soon that I will have a lot to offer to a promotion, to a company, whether that, whether that be a WWE, an ROH, a AEW, even Impact Wrestling. Um, I would be a, a pretty hot commodity to them because of the um, because of what I can do, what I can do in terms of my talent, in terms of wrestling, managing, and all the things that I just brought up. And um, I'm pretty excited, man. I'm pretty excited for the future. And um, we'll see, you know, where does everyone want to see Famous be next? That's that's my question, Jay. Where do you want to see Famous be next? Well, let me ask you this. I mean, because we, you know, we've heard so many stories about, like, horror stories even, about how tough it's been to, you know, kind of get out of the Lucha Underground contract. And it's almost like people being being held hostage. Your experience in dealing with whoever it was that you were dealing with, I mean, has it been... 
Right. I, I presume because of the lawsuit stuff and everything, things weren't so smooth and you, you felt you had to go down the road that you did. Is it a case where right. it really is less to do with the writers and the producers and, and it has more to do, I guess, with sort of the, the company that is running things or overseeing things and it's not a reflection on the writers and the people who actually kind of kept that show alive? Absolutely. It's not a reflection on the writers whatsoever. It's more a, re a reflection on uh, um, MGM and um, pretty much Dorian Rodan, who also is the um, uh, the um, head honcho over down in AAA because he has a lot to do with the sale over who gets released and who doesn't. So for me, in my terms, since I was one of the guys who stepped up along with, um, I guess you could say, Jeff Cobb and Sonny Kiss, who was in the headlines along with myself, um it was a little bit more easier for me when I approached them because of the uh, release of the four individuals um, who, who did put the lawsuits in at first before me. So it was a little bit more easier. It wasn't as, you know, strenuous and hard in terms of like a, a solid no, if that makes sense. And then not only that, um, I do feel also like it was a um, – case-by-case -case scenario, depending on the individual, depending on the talent, it's pretty much what determined for them what they were willing to do in terms of um, really holding that talent hostage, per se, or not. And I feel like I wasn't one of the talents on the show that they are, you know, willing to strive to hold hostage, if that makes sense. Because, you know, once again, Dorian Rodan has a very um, influential say in the matter, and you know, let's be honest, I'm not a triple A guy. You know, I never have been. Um, you know, I never was invited to any of the triple manias that they've done when they've had uh, multiple Lucha Underground talents come out since the show's inception. And, um, you know, I've never been high on triple A's radar. So um, I, d I don't feel like I've had any, um, you know, like strenuous setbacks in terms of being or, um, or potentially, you know, being released, which is going to happen pretty soon. Well, that's awesome, and hopefully, like you said, you know, there's a lot going on right now, a lot of excitement in wrestling, AEW, obviously, and, and look, even MLW and other promotions, and I, you know, I, for one, want to see Famous B pop up somewhere else and, and not be uh, stuck on the back burner here, so, hey, first of all, my, my first piece of advice is don't forget all the little people as you uh, move on to the next phase, <laughs> the, next, the next phase of your career. In all seriousness, you know, hopefully you, you land in a place where people can really kind of get to know you and, and be exposed to you because I think you're entertaining as all hell. Oh, man. Well, thank you for that. Um, I'm going to let you go, man. I know you got a ton of callers. Once again, like I said, congrats on 600. Um, I want to send a special shout-out to um, one of my coworkers in Lucha Underground, Miss Melissa Santos. Today is her birthday, so I wanted to say um, happy birthday to her. And, um, yeah, man, um, I, you know, I just got back from Australia like two weeks ago and had a great tour with one of your favorites, Miss Katrina, Ooh. was uh, on that tour. <laughs> so, um, you know, I know that's one of your favorites. So, I, you know, I had to kind of rub it in your face that, you know, I'm sitting on the coast in Australia having lunch with one of your favorites. So I'm pretty sure that's something you would uh, love to do, right? Well, you know, thanks for co thanks for calling me, by the way. That's number one. And number two, the, <laughs> you know, the least you could do is put a good word in for me. <laughs> oh, of course I did, brother. Of course I did, man. And you have a great rest of your show. Happy 600. And uh, I'll holler at you soon, my man.